Hey, what's up guys? So we have a little bit of Barrasso pre-shave on to kind of uh, dampen up the whiskers and get them ready for the shave we're gonna have with this Feather DE blade. But first and foremost, today is Memorial Day and um, shout out to um, all of our fallen heroes and also active military that, uh, you know, are in some, you know, bad environments against bad people and, uh, you know, just wish them the best and yeah. So today's shave will be a tribute to all the fallen and, um, uh, you know, for keeping this country safe. All right. So Cremo, you can't really see it. Water touched it, but, uh, this is what lingual file sent in Cremo reserve blend. Um, I've actually bowl lathered this and I'm not getting like a lot of, I put half of that in there. Maybe I need to put more, but I'm going to try this. Um, I don't really know if this is just supposed to be whipped up with a brush or if it's more so like just to rub on. I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to use it like this. Very nice, like, it's a very nice, clean, fresh, very like kind of cologne-y um, is, is what I'm wanting to say. Kind of like a cologne. Very nice, very nice scent. I really do enjoy this. So let's, let's try it. It, it did load up quite quite nicely in the brush, so let's just see. I, I've added a lot of water to this, very slowly though, because I noticed I was getting a ton of bubbles initially. So, oh yeah, very slick. From what I've seen, Cremo comes in the tubes, at least whenever I'm going to, uh, you know, whenever we go grocery shopping or whatever. I do see Cremo in the tubes. I think there's a blue one and a red one. I don't know what's what. I don't have any Cremo other than this, honestly. So, but it actually whipped up fairly good. I'm, I'm impressed with this. It's not too thin. Like I said, I added a lot of water. So it's, it's thick enough for me to get a good shave, I can tell you that. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more out of here. Good, I can. <clears throat> Perfect. Nice, very nice. Oh yeah. Good, good shave. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone, um, you know, remembers why we have, well, not everybody has today off, but if you do, and even if you don't, you know, remember why today is important. All right, so let's get this shave going. We'll be using our Dark Stag today. Actually, all of these products, other than the brush, are from Linguafile. Well, and the Feather Blade. He did send me the Feather Blade. But we're using the Dark Stag, which is from LP. Obviously, Cremo, which is from LP. Nivea Min Balm, the uh, cooling one, which is from LP. And actually, this bottle is much different, you know, than the other bottle from uh, Nivea Min. I like this one better. It looks better. And then Stetson Cooling. So we have kind of like a Stetson Cooling splash, and then we're going to go with the Cooling Balm as well. So, like I said, we have a feather. I think this is second or third use in this uh, dark stag. Let's go ahead and get it done. Working with about, let's see. When did I shave last? I shaved um, probably 24, 24 hours ago. Less than 30, more than 22. <laughs> oh yeah, this stuff smells great. I really am digging the smell of this. My parents came over yesterday to hang out with the baby. We watched um, Little Rascals. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. 
alfalfa and uh, Darla, and actually the, the Olsen twins. The Olsen twins were in that movie, which I completely forgot about. I don't know if that's before the Olsen twins became, you know, a big thing way back in the 90s, or if that was after, but... But yeah, it's nice to uh, kind of go back and watch some. Old movies every now and then. If you guys are shaving today or if you shaved yesterday, would you use? I notice a lot of the time, honestly, some of the channels I watch at least, like what I plan on using for that day or what I plan on using the next day for a shave. Like, I don't know if, if it's just something in the universe. I don't know what it is, but it's like, you know, other guys that I watch are also using the same products that I want to use and that type of thing. And again, I don't know what, the, <laughs> I don't know what causes that, but it happens frequently, like several times a month. Oh, this is, this is a very nice scent. Oh yeah, I, I really do like this. And it's very slick. Actually, we might be getting a little dry here. Let's try to paint some water in here. Hmm. There we go. So yeah, I'm off today. Um, technically, but I'm on call, you know, IT, something, something catastrophic happens, and then I'm obviously not off anymore, but hopefully everything goes smooth like every other day, and, uh, I just have a day off. Um... The soap smells good, it's performing well. It doesn't create a big voluminous lather. Um, I don't even think you could if you wanted to. I think, may, I mean, it loaded into the brush and it's working well as far as the brush goes. But I think maybe this might be something that you're not supposed to brush lather. Maybe it's brushless, I don't know. But it's working perfectly fine. This dark stag is fairly mild, you know, I'd say maximum, like medium aggression. It's not, you know, if you're, if you're adverse to, extremely, uh, you know, aggressive razors, you know, this one will be good for you because this one's not too aggressive. And actually, you know, it works very well. You know, it's not going to win any awards as far as looks and that type of thing. Although, in all honesty, it doesn't look bad, in my opinion. There's a lot of defects in, in it, you know, the, the quality control. But what do you expect out of a super cheap razor, you know? Um, you know, I, I'll base the performance on what it is as opposed to like a razor that's three times more than this. So for what this is, it's great, you know, this dark stag razor. I'm going to open up the razor actually, because I'm looking at the bottom of the porthole there. Can you see that gunk? That's from the pre-shave.
So we're just going to get that off of the blade. It's still cutting perfectly fine. It wasn't hindering the shave. It wasn't giving me any irritation or anything, but we're going to uh, just rinse that off and continue. There we go. Perfect. I know not um, everybody that watched my videos are from the U.S., although I think the majority of you are. I think like 70-something percent of my viewers are in the U.S. Um, oh, wow. It's really nice. I mean, that's for two passes, that's very good. I'll attribute that to their feather blade, but also the soap is doing its job. So... Um, I watched Paul, Paul H, I watched his video that he uploaded, he uploaded it late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, and um, he was saying that they are also off, now he's in, he's Welsh, um, you know, UK, so he was saying they're also off, but it's not Memorial, it's not called Memorial Day, it's called something else over there. So, what I was going to ask is, I know some of you that watch are from Germany, I think some, one of you are from Switzerland, so are you guys off on Monday, which we call Memorial Day, the 31st, um, or are you not? <laughs> you may, you may not be, but for us in the U.S., again, it's not, not everybody's off. It's not like a holiday that you have to take off, but or a company has to give you off. But it's more so, you know, just for remembrance of our fallen military. Very nice. So if you've made it this far, you will have the opportunity to pick what I use in the next shave as far as the soap. So let me finish this pass up and I'll show you two soaps. So yeah, with, with these kind of shaves, or you know, these kind of videos rather, which is basically just me shaving. These are very quick and easy because I literally just set up the camera, push record, start shaving, finish shaving, upload it directly to YouTube, no editing. Sometimes I'll do like a little touch up here or there, but typically I don't. And they just go right up, and I do some ed uh, do some like description work, title, that type of thing, thumbnail, upload, done. You know, maybe thirty minutes worth of post work after the video is shot. Now, with the razor video, <laughs> you know, like recording, there wasn't that much footage of recording. It was like a minute and thirty nine seconds, but or a minute and forty seconds, whatever it was, but. You know, going into the software and editing everything and doing the voiceover and getting the timing right so I'm not like talking through the first pass into the second pass or the second pass into the third pass or like talking too long in the third pass making the video way too long like I am now. <laughs> you know, it's one of those like timing things. 
in, in all honesty, I'm sure I get faster at it if I the more I do it. But that video took some time. Like that was probably four hours, three four hours worth of editing. Definitely three hours. Probably close to four. Four under two minute video. You know, and it's just one of those things that. I honestly enjoy doing it because I do not not that entire four hours was actually you know creating the content. I actually did some research on the razors and um, this will be uploaded before the other videos that I recorded this weekend um, but but the Oh, I, I reshot. Huh. You're going to find this funny. Some of you will. <laughs> I had to reshoot the Den Tour video. But I'm going to edit that today and get that up probably Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Promise. Um, but when I was editing that, the first video, I so... I record on my phone. As you guys know, like I'm recording right now from my phone. And then when I have to edit videos, if they're not going directly into YouTube, I have to put them from my phone to my computer. Real simple process. I have a USB-C to USB-C, plug my phone into my PC, allow document transfer, transfer. Good. When I do that, I have the option to once I transfer it from my phone to my PC, wow, that was a really nice shave. Once it goes from my phone to my PC, my phone asks me, uh, or it says transfer complete, um, delete original. Meaning, because my phone's 128 gig. It has expandable storage, I just need to get a micro SD card, but that's beside the point. I'm close to that 128 gig, I think I have like 115, so when it asks that, do you want to Transfer complete, do you want to remove the original? I always hit yes, and what that does is it removes it from my phone. But I already have it on my computer. Well. The editing software, um, actually, I had started editing it, and actually I was almost done, but like what I'll do is I'll, I'll edit in stages. So I'll, I'll, I'll do like a beginning, then a middle, then an end. And then, um, cause it's different videos cause I have to record in here, I record in there, etc. So, um, we're going to go with stairs today. We haven't used stairs in a while. So what I do is I put in the software, my video editing software, I edit it, I get finished with it. I save it at that point, come back later, etc. Well, I came back to finish it up. And when I went to open the file, it said file cannot be read. And I'm like, what the heck? Somehow, don't know. This hasn't happened before in the 200 plus, almost 300 plus videos I've done. The software said that the file was corrupt and could not be read. So basically the entire then tour that I did previously, useless, gone. And... I removed it from my phone, so I can't even get it on my phone again. I can't get the original, so. But that's shot again tonight. Um, or I'm sorry, it's gonna be edited tonight. It'll be uploaded early this week. Um, I also shot another video <laughs> with uh, showing LP stuff. So the stuff I just used, or I'm about to finish using, um, that was also shot this weekend, that's it. And that'll be edited tonight, and that will be uploaded at some point this week. So, this is the Stetson Cooling Moisture. Whew. Yep, definitely Stetson. Hmm. Does this not have alcohol in it? I'm getting absolutely no burn. Hold on. Like, no burn. At all. Zero. Which is kind of unusual. Like normally there's a little tingle, even if you have a great shave and have absolutely no irritation or anything, no cuts or bumps or anything. There's always a little tingle. Let me see. 
Does it show ingredients? It does. It's kind of hard to see them though, because it's like the line kind of cuts off some of the ingredients. I don't know. I'm going to say that there is no, there's menthol in here. I'm going to say that there is no alcohol. It does. Benzyl alcohol. It's on the list. I don't know. I feel no burn at all. Anyway, that's a good thing. I'm not complaining. Nivea Men Sensitive Cool Cooling Post Shape Balm. All right, let's pop this puppy open if I can grip it with my hands. There we go. Oh, yeah. This smells different than the one I have. Oh, that's a very pleasant scent. Wow. Wow. We're going with that much. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's a very nice scent. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that. Lather up those bows. Elbows. All right, nice. Like I said, I don't really use lotion ever on my skin. And uh, so, yeah, when I use a balm, I'll put the rest of it on my elbows, on my forearms. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that'll dry up. You can see I have a lot of uh, irritation on my face. That's not from the shave. That's just my face is uh, acting up <clears throat> yet again. So um, it is what it is. But no cuts or like any, you know, terrible bleeding. So successful shave. I'm assuming this is going to like dry up. You see kind of like a wetness. That's just the balm. I'm assuming it'll dry up and, and be normal. But uh, yeah. That's it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thanks, LP, for sending the products for the shave. And, uh, yeah, happy Memorial Day. If you can say happy Memorial Day, it's not like Christmas or anything. But have a good Memorial Day. Remember? I don't know how to, how to end it. So, uh, anyways, guys, have a good one. Oh, soaps. I heard you. I heard you. Uh, let's go with uh, 80. Asian plum and we'll go with uh, we haven't used this in a little while Mood indigo from Mammoth. Let's uh, let's do those two So just comment down below what you want to see me shave with next Mammoth soaps um, Mood indigo or 80 Ariana and Evans Asian plum Hey right, guys have a good one